Okay, welcome back guys. As you know, it's Charlie Black here, and it's uh, another episode of Operation Wolf. Sorry, I keep looking down because this is a whole um, experimental process for me. So, as you know, Operation Wolf is the war on my lovely fat, and I've been trying to keep you guys updated on what's been going on in my life during 2020 and the past few years. So, uh, thank you for tuning in. Um, so I figured I would change things up a little bit. Um, we're having beautiful weather in November, and I figured, okay, let's do, um, let's, let's try a new show called, I don't know, Drives with Charlie. Um, it's still Operation Wolf, but I figure I'll record everything in the car. I, I, as a disclaimer, I understand, like, cell phone use and such like that is, uh, prohibited, um, but... I do have um, a cam mount, so I'm not touching it. And because it's a 360 camera, um, it's not um, stopping me from focusing on driving. But I figured, um, kind of like a hands-free kind of setup, that we'd have a kind of a chit chat, where I kind of give you an update while we can enjoy this lovely drive together down Lakeshore uh, Lakeshore Road. Um, it's a, it's a good drive, so I might you might catch me rambling on a little bit, and I apologize for that because you know, like I said, I kind of go into these things uh, freehand, um, so I, nothing's really scripted, and I'm not into like the whole bunch of like editing and cutting and pasting. But how would you cut and paste a drive? So I just got to do a cheap wave here. Um, so yeah. So what is the update? I just recently posted a video in terms of being back on track and losing 57 pounds, but essentially that video was posted a little bit late. Um, what is the current status? So I'm, I'm officially three months. Time really does fly um, after the fact, you know, when I was discussing this, it blows my mind that I was discussing um, you know, weight loss surgery or the idea of weight loss surgery and, you know, late 2017, early 2018. And then I was like, okay, two years wait. And then COVID happens. And then it's like, okay, we're going to even push your surgery back even further to now it's three months after the fact. Um, I mean, I to say that I don't feel different like something is missing would be wrong right like because I, I don't uh i feel good and i feel great with the weight loss obviously because my energy levels have gone up but um i feel like myself like i feel like you know like you know um i mean other than the salads which they said wait three months before trying a salad so i haven't done that yet um i'm i'm eating i shouldn't say and i shouldn't really promote everything that I would normally eat like it wasn't like you know you'll find if you're going through this process you know over a period of time you get you get bored right like when it's liquid diet for two weeks and then it's puree diet for two weeks and then it's soft foods for four weeks and I mean there's different variations between different teams and different surgeons right you, you get bored like you know I'm I'm 40 years old and you know I um, I'm a guy that's like not comfortable in the group comfortable in the grooves in the sense that like you know if I'm having small cravings and stuff I want to be able to enjoy those things within moderation and um, not to say that I'm, I'm gonna go back to old habits or anything like that but it's just like it's nice to be able to you know have a chip or a crisper or something like that not to say that I've had any kind of pop um, or anything like that or I've been like eager to break the rules but I just I don't feel like you know if it wasn't for these videos and me trying to do these updates on a regular basis you know constantly reminding myself you know and like seeing the weight loss and having to buy clothes I wouldn't you wouldn't think like you know that I, I had the surgery but I mean I feel normal is the point that I'm trying to get across to you guys and I feel great and there's been no hiccups knock on wood and uh, it's a fantastic thing I'm really happy that I went through with it because I mean obviously 
you know, you put it out of your mind. You're like, okay, put me on the list, and then you're on the list, and then two years later, you're like, okay, I've never really had major surgery, and then all of a sudden, you're having major surgery, and then you're recovering from that. So, um, if my eyes are wandering, it's just because I'm a single male, and there's a lot of beautiful girls just strolling or jogging down the street. Um, not to say that I'm a pig, but, you know, <laughs> like, damn I love the fall. Anyhow, getting back on track. So yeah, so 90 days. Um, I'm I'm eager to have a salad, but I'm not in a rush to have a salad. Like I miss I miss being able to have greens and veggies and stuff. And you know, I mean, I like that I'm at that stage where there's no restriction, but you have to keep in mind moderation. Um, if you're going to have this surgery, I would highly recommend that you listen to your pouch. When I'm branching out of the box, because I have branched out of the box, I'm, I'm human, right? Um, my pouch will tell me, like, I haven't named my pouch like some people have, um, in this community and stuff like that. Like, okay, you've, okay, you've had your fill, you've had enough. It's not like, okay, you can bench, like, okay, prime example um if i was to get chinese food and i was to get like an individual meal um from my local place i would do like an individual meal and then add a whole bunch of egg rolls i was having the craving for chinese food so i got i got the dish um no desire to get any kind of extra egg rolls and it was like um, before I was where I would crush the dish and a few hours later, I'd be thinking about what kind of snacks I could have. Um, I just had a few bites, you know? Um, and it was just like, and my body was just like, enough. And I was just like, okay, I've, I've filled the craving. Like I've had that Szechuan, I've had my fried rice, just a couple of bites of this, a couple of bites of that. And it's like that meal, which would have lasted, you know, in a, uh, pre-surgery, you know, four hours before, you know, it's like, okay, what's the next thing? It's now like three days. <laughs> so, um, that's fantastic. Uh, the other craving that I had while we're talking about that was, um, the hamburger thing. I used to, cause I work in hospitality. Um, you know, I used to eat hamburgers like every single day cause it's easy. It's, it's convenient. It's, uh, it's quick, right? Um, I had my first hamburger like two weeks ago, um, and that was nice. Uh, I went to a place called Hero Burger, and uh, it was nice, like, you know, a nice gourmet burger, and it was the same concept, um, just a couple of bites of the burger, but just like those flavors on your palate, not to say, yeah, I'm a foodie, I'm always going to be a foodie, you know what I mean, and being able to just like, you know, experience that was nice so yeah that's that's where i'm at no hiccups in terms of the update um i mean 90 days 90 days plus and just kind of moving forward um you know thank you for all the support um you know uh, if you do have any kind of questions for me please ask so i'll kind of cover everything that i've been covering in the uh the previous videos um so just to kind of like if you're new to the channel i had a uh, rune y um or r and y as they say is the abbreviation um gastric bypass surgery august 8th um 2020 the original date was for may but obviously due to covid and stuff like that and for the safety of others and you know, um, the residents at the hospital and stuff, they had to push that back to an unknown date. Um, the great thing about my position was, um, you know, when you're planning for a big surgery and recovery and stuff, you really got to structure it around your career and work and time off. But with, um, you know, my job kind of going into modified and people working from home and stuff, it was really easy for me to adapt to my schedule. Um, since the surgery, um, I mean, I'm at, I'm at the same, I'm in the same position. Uh, I've lost 57 pounds at, this is like day 92. Um, 
sorry, I'm going back and forth because I'm paying attention to the traffic here. We're in like Burlington, Burlington, Ontario. Um, it's a nice little esplanade here, but it's a little busy with the construction and the condos that are going up. Yeah, feel free to look around. We're at a light. But yeah, that's uh, that's that's the update. 57 pounds lost and continuing to lose. Um, I have been shopping, but not like crazy shopping, because I mean, clothes have been falling off of me and such. Um, yeah, uh, that's yeah, that's 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 what I got right now for the update. I haven't had any kind of issues or concerns with the surgery. Sorry, again, just paying attention to traffic. Uh, yeah, just enjoy the drive. I, I play music or something, but with the copyright issues on um, YouTube, I, I, I would hate for this to be, like, um, non-monetarized or, you know, copyright infringement goes up because I have, like, a light tune in the background or whatever the case may be, right? So I figured, okay, I'm not going to play any kind of music. Uh, just kind of talk chat with you guys What else can I discuss while we're on this drive? Yeah, so I thought I had a mic. I'm feeling like the video cut off because it's like a 10 minute timer on the uh, The GoPro um, That last minute there of the video there was a little bit of uh, verbal diarrhea there I was kind of rambling because I couldn't really put my ideas together and I'm caught in traffic, so my attention is on the traffic and such. But, um, yeah, no hiccups. It's been a smooth 90 days. I look forward to, you know, healthier living. Um, as I told you in my other videos, um, I've become more active, even though I'm sitting in the car here, um, just enjoying the drive. But this is a beautiful drive for a nice, you know, fall afternoon, a day in November, um, before, like, the snow actually hits or the ice or the freezing rain and it's like even though the leaves are falling it's still a beautiful thing to look at um yeah so um like i told you before in terms of activity and such even though i'm not in the gym as much i'm trying to increase how much physical activity i do at least get outside or get away from the playstation and the xbox even though they just released new ones uh, driving on this advanced screen. I'm not going to road rage on my video because that's not setting a great example. <laughs> but um, yeah, you got to appreciate drivers of all different skill sets. That's the uh, that's that's what I got. 90 days. Um, I won't take any more of your time. I'll just kind of quietly just kind of drive. You could. You can tune out, um, as I always say in these videos, like, share, subscribe, comment. If you have any kind of questions or insight that you may want to share, please do. Um, I look forward to any kind of dialogue that I can create using, you know, this channel of communication. I love the network that I'm part of now in terms of like the bariatric community and stuff. Um, you know, prior to, you know, engaging and committing to these things, you, you truly do feel like you're alone, you know, you only, you're the only person who struggles with weight loss, or you feel like you're the only person, you know what I mean, who's, who's buying new clothes every year and stuff like that, and then all of a sudden, you know, you start paying attention to your health and to your body, and you find out that you're not alone, so that's what I want to tell people, like, you're not alone, and there's, you know, there's a, there's a community of people out there that are willing to cheer you on and support you, and it's great. I, just, I love the, the love that I'm getting from, you know, uh, peers and friends and colleagues um, that are seeing the difference, like, even from week to week, because, you know, um, and just giving you those compliments, because it's just like, it's a boost, you know, uh, on your self-esteem and stuff like that, and you know, quality of life. But yeah, that's um, that's all I got. Um, thank you for watching. This is the uh, the end of another episode of Operation Wolf. As you know, I'm Charlie Black. And okay.
traffic to have my attention. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you soon. Um, if this gets a lot of traction, I'll try and do these uh, these drives um, more often, and obviously keep it safe. So I find different ways to engage you guys and chit chat. I like to love having these chit chats without rambling too much or boring you. Let me know if uh, I am rambling a lot in the comments, and uh, maybe I'll script or try and put together my ideas a little bit better. But I like to just kind of just, like I said, freestyle and just go off the top of my head what I'm thinking and share and have like a conversation like we were sharing a beer together or something. Maybe I'll find some YouTube music to put on for the second half of the video for the drive. Right now we're underneath the Burlington Skyway Bridge. If you're still engaged, if you're still there, that's another thing. I mean, um, my surgical team was like, watch your caffeine intake. Um, not that I'm a big caffeine drinker, but uh, like for the first month, I didn't have any kind of coffee. And then um, about six weeks after the surgery, I started drinking coffee again. But um, I was never like a sweet coffee kind of guy. I was more like uh, into like or whatever the case might be. Um, but yeah, I'm just enjoying um, a classic Tim Hortons here. Um, regular coffee with two milk. That is my caffeine drug of choice. It's a nice little endorsement there for Tim Hortons. You can never go wrong. Mm. I'm a Starbucks guy when I'm feeling bougie stuff like that but Tim Hortons is nice and convenient you know you got your drive throughs um, you can just kind of go through and that kind of stuff um, Starbucks by me not too many of them have drive throughs so um, we'll see what's happening with COVID and stuff all these um, stores are saying that they're closing like I read an article about how the one brand I don't even know if I can say the name on YouTube um, is going to close 200 stores but I see stores popping up all over the place so how are they opening stores and closing stores it doesn't make sense to me right so yeah I'll definitely find a song for you guys to listen to so you're not bored but uh, thanks for joining me on this drive <laughs> 